Apart from that, we were. Yeah, because I'm here in uh, Japan is really Japan, feeling this grime thing. Yeah, I've been to Japan a few times. I went a couple of years ago. That was mad. They love UK music out there, bro. Yeah. They love really Bashment out there as well. Japan, how they see us as well. Yeah, they Japan love it. They buy as well. They'll, they'll buy yeah. products. They'll, yeah. When I went out there, I saw Skepta posters up. Because like, yeah, obviously he had Konnichiwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw his posters up in the in the thing. And um, Stylo G, I think, went just before me. He was mm. mashing it up out there. They love Bashment. Like, it's mad, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. worldwide now. When you're in the UK, it's easy to forget. Like, yeah, about the rest of the... Yeah. Yeah. rest of the world. Yeah. That's why it's important to travel so you can yeah. see what's what's really happening out there. And I think it is important to try crossover so you can touch their markets, yeah, man. Yeah. They, they buy the music. They love the music. It's just about trying to cross over to attack the market. It's not just about reaching out to London. Like, try and make that global music, man, because... It's easy to make two just for the man there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, if you can, like, try and make a little... Like, maybe take out a few words that ain't gonna confuse a few people and then, yeah, yeah man, it will cross over. Trust me. So you've seen, like, some of the guys from the get-go. Mm. So now, we spoke of Tiny, we spoke of Skepta, mm. briefly. Chip, we spoke of. Yeah. Who do you think has in your opinion has had the biggest success from then Ooh. from that era to like where they are now because there's um, a lot of stars about yeah from that era are you talking about now just from from, from that then? area that era to i now. would say um i would say personally i think dizzy rascal oh dizzy man dizzy we can't forget about dizzy rascal mm. man like personally i think he covered all bases of being a superstar yeah in the uk um tiny done his thing as well but um i feel like tiny temper's songs were bigger than him and i'm okay. that i don't mean that in a bad way but i just feel like dizzy culturally just culturally made a stamp yeah. 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 yeah like i had never seen that before and he was close to headlining glastonbury i don't think he did but he done the main stage a few times i, I yeah. think i saw him one year um but yeah just seven number ones independently you know he's probably That's sold crazy. four or five million records independently I can't imagine how much he's made from that, but that all was his own, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. from Holiday to the Calvin Harris, introducing us to Calvin Harris. Mm. Like, we can't forget what Dizzy's done and where he came from, Boy in the Corner. For me, personally, I think he made the biggest, the biggest stamp. Yeah. I don't know, I think so. I have to think yeah. about it properly, but... I think he, um, you know what it is, I feel like overall, probably him. Yeah, but overall. I think at different stages, it's been different people. So of course, yeah, everyone's kind of together. We've yeah. all, all done their thing. That's a good point. You know, yeah, you know, had a hand in. It's not, the scene. Scene. it's not just one. Every yeah. time there was probably a step forward to kicking that door in that Glastonbury yeah, headline. At one, stage. at one stage it was Titchy Strider. Yeah, and another stage it was Rich. Yeah, yeah, um, and then Tiny End Dubs, Dizzy End Dubs, End Dubs. I mean, yeah, yo, this um, Channel U era, we can yeah. say that start of the channel you I think wanna, i want to get i'm blo- i'm blown <laughs> i'm blown away by um the kind of re-return of dappy man if i'm honest mad crazy but you shouldn't really be too um confused because he's hella talent, talent is it? mad yeah, yeah. like i always knew like he's someone who can always maintain his success yeah. it was just himself that was holding him back like mm. you know what i mean like sometimes obviously he's gone through a few things and done some things that were a bit mad but I think as soon as he's focused yeah he's probably one of the best man yeah him I've, chip they can always maintain yeah i don't think like that's the thing with chip chip's never gonna run out of yeah, he's never so, gonna, know, he's run, gonna, out gonna run out so never. we just gotta face it innit? yeah i think when he done that ringtone tune with dr vase Ooh, when he's on the remix the verse, i was waiting for him to say gel on my ex and gel on my nokia, nokia. i was Ooh. waiting that's why right. i was like that's right. but he still flipped it talking about snake and that but <laughs> Oh, come on man girl on your Nokia come yeah, on yeah. but like Ice Kid um, I don't know what happened to Ice Kid Ice Kid came and went and came and went I don't yeah, know about Ice Kid but you know when I see that like I just think it's themselves that are yeah. like like you just gotta put in the work mm. maybe he didn't want to do music as mm. much you know what I mean he had other things he was focused on but he's super talented man like yeah. but I, I just think consistency think plays consistency a big part. for artists is a big thing like, as soon as you put in that work, if you, if you got the talent like Ice Kid or Dappy, like you're gonna go. Like mm. just keep it, keep it going. Have that faith in what you're doing and stay focused. Mm. And I'm sure you'll get to where you're going. There's no reason why you can't. You know what I mean? It's only yourself that's gonna. Especially hold now you back. more than ever. Yeah, exactly. Like, people are like people want Ice Kid music. to come back now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like days, at the same time, you know, like 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 we said before about mm. mentally, you need to be 
to make sure you're admitting it. You need to take time off to yeah, you have to yeah, yeah. It's true. Focus on what you need to focus on. Yeah, yeah. Do that and then come back stronger. Yeah, yeah. You know, self care is important. That's important. That's more important than anything. Um, well, you're doing A and R as well. Is that something? Yeah. And, man- and managing or just A and R? Just A and R, and yeah. I just I've always been a fan of. I think I've thought about it recently. I think I've just been a fan of playing people music and bangers mm. or introducing people to music. Mm. Like I'll hear a song, a new banger from America from new artists. I'll be like, bro, listen to this song. This song's a banger, and mm. I'll just be gassed by the fact that I played it to him. Yeah, yeah. So I've always been into that. So finding talent and like putting together a banger have been always my favorite thing to do. That, I guess that's why I DJ, that's why I started producing, because that comes with that. So I just always thought that would be sick, man, if I could get into a and in. And I think I've got a good ear for music, for beats, mm. for artists, singers. And um, my old a and from Warner actually emailed me recently, or a few couple years ago, he was like, yo, if you ever need a job a and R in, remember that's I said, it. yeah, he said, remember I said, you'll be one of the best at it. So that is definitely what I want to do soon, yeah. So is there anyone that we should be yeah. keeping an eye out then? Um, yeah, there's a few artists still. There's a few that I'm working with. I had on my last album someone called Icy Stanley. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a new artist Icy called... Stanley. Yeah, yeah come on, yeah. Jay Sim is a new artist oh, yeah. that i got a record with as well coming soon. Um, yeah, there's Bear. I can't think off the top of my head, but yeah, obviously, like I said, Scorch. I've been working with him on a few bits. Sick. Um, and yeah, so that's that's my next aim. Just A&R. Yeah. You yeah. say you look for something different. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. You know, like, I remember I showed my, my boy Jay Huss way before he blew up when he done that first freestyle um, in front of the stairs. Did you, did you yeah, see that Yeah, the one? SBTV one. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. And from when I saw that, I said to my boy, yo, this guy, he's going to he's gonna be a star, bro. Like, he was moving, he was saying mad things in it. Mm. But I knew from there, like, he was special. Like, just something that I can find in someone I always look for. Um, I first heard of him in the, um, the Ain't On Nothing remix. Oh, yeah, was like, he on that, yeah? Remixes, there were different, there was like he done one. Ten different remixes, and I heard his mm. one. Sick. I was like, yo, he did something different on yeah. that. He didn't just spit bars. He, he came with something mad. And I was like, yo, who's this guy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then after that, he done um, Dem Boy Pagan. And, you know, and then the rest was, and then the rest was just Jay Huss, you know. I think Jay Huss. And he did Wireless the other day. Right? Yeah, he, he came Wireless out, yeah. And Murky first, I think he came yeah. out for, yeah. I mean, because he had a little bit of a little bit of an issue, so yeah. he went away, came back and all that. But came it's, back um, strong. He came back strong. Yeah. I think now, I think yeah. now with certain people, it don't away. matter. Yeah. yeah, it don't matter what happens, they'll they'll kill it. Um, Do you know what I mean? You mentioned bonkers, innit? What happened to mm. him, man? He was hard. Is he still? Is he got a couple of things coming? Yeah. I reckon I went to his um his headline, yeah, headline show recently like, years back. Yeah. yeah, it was a while ago. And, now, and a lot of people turned up. There's a lot of like, like yeah. youth as well. Yeah, yeah, they like, love like, him. People turned up there as well, and they were yeah. front going mad. Man, just He's like, hard. Yeah. Bonkers is hard, man. Yeah. That's hard. the thing. You have to stay. Like, think how many artists there are now. Yeah. You have to be at the front of everyone's mind. Yeah, and look yeah. at the people we've mentioned. Stormzy, Dave, Jay Huss. Yeah. And then... They've been... We've said bonkers, and we're like, oh, actually, when's the last time I heard something? Yeah, yeah. Because you have he's to not stay, in your face yeah. like that. You have to stay. That's what I'm trying to adapt to as well, just staying consistent. Because mm. when, I, when I first came out, it was like, three joints a year, three records a year, you're yeah, good. Yeah. Do you know them ones? Oh, like, no, no. Like, you got to do like one every week. One now, every man. week, bro. Like, yeah, I just I'm put saying. out the video with, Co- with K. Coke. Yeah, We're about quest. to drop the next yeah. one next week. Like, I have to be consistent. It's, it's good because it keeps you on your toes, but it's like, bro, like, it's mad, you know? Because yeah, if you don't, from the moment you don't, they're like, oh, man, but Yeah, off, you're quiet. Yeah, 100%. It's mad. Yeah. And you're working with you work with Coke on that. What's that? Uh, praise, yeah. praise for life. Praise for one, life, yeah. man. Yeah. How was that, all right? Yeah, yeah, that was good, man. Like obviously, K Coke for me um, is one of the the realest rappers that we've we've had in the UK scene. I think he just and I say real like he just speaks from his truth. You know what I mean? Like, um, and I've always respected his lyricism. Um, so yeah, when I done the joint, I actually met him at the the Ray J part because he was yeah, there in it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was lit. He was lit. So that was where I first met Coke, uh, Coke, and we was talking and that. And I always wanted to work with him. I, f- I think a few people have always said like you need to work with K Coke as well. And I had the joint already done, so I was like, you know what, that song will be perfect, man. So I think about two weeks after that, we linked up, done the record, then done the video, and he's been mad supportive of it, man. Like yeah, came I to the launch and well. yeah, he's been posting it. So I mean, he's another one who's as an artist had like a crazy, crazy life. Like, yeah, Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. Well, before a lot of the 
yeah. Doing yeah, stuff. yeah. He was, and then he had the collab with Rita Ora. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he's actually, he's still got a base, you know. Like when he puts out records, like he gets millions of views on his own channel, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's, th- it's sick, man. Like I've only just started putting out my stuff on my channel yeah. as well, on my Vivo and that. Um, yeah. Do you think it's, it's um, different from like going on the Prime Daily? And stuff and all that? Yeah, it's different. You just gotta have faith in flipping your own channel or, yeah because no, no, no. it's hard yeah, once you get to a certain stage it yeah makes sense. it does make sense, it makes sense. but at the start yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. i don't know man you just want to try and get yeah but it's crime daily i've already got on them yeah it's just like a little investment but, being on yeah. crime daily or SP yeah or yeah Link but up. you don't own the video you don't get the money from the video mm. so it's like it's just mm. to bring yourself to that next level i think crime daily but Big shout out to Grand Daily, man. They're always showing support as well, yeah. I think they're like the new, like, I would say, Channel U kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. MTV oh, yeah, yeah, or... Yeah. Them and Link Up and stuff. Them and Link Up, um, yeah. SBE have gone a different direction, I think. But yeah. them two definitely are, are pioneers. But you know what's mm. crazy? I, was, I said this the other day. I'm just bait. Mm. More Important. followers than Grand Daily. 2.8 million followers That's on I'm just bait. So imagine if mm. you're paying putting your video on yeah. I'm just bait or you're paying it to put on Grand Daily. Didn't they have the official the party? Yeah, I saw that yeah. at the ministry. Yeah. 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 Where so um I'm just bait should start like a mu- uh, YouTube channel like putting videos out and that though. Or did they? Like they no, no, you put it on the Just on, on the gram. But they should do like a YouTube channel. Yeah, because they got like a little label and stuff, I think. Yeah. Is him it? And, him and um Abdi TV. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Abdi TV, yeah. Oh, they've got something um, in there. Maybe that's coming. That's, that's, that's mad. Yeah. 2.8 million. That is mad. I wonder how much he charges to post yeah. on, on his post. Like so. five, six bills. For real, for one post? For one post. There's a lot of power of influencers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially. The new platforms, aren't they? Yeah. Because yeah. before it was, the platforms were the Grime Dailies, the link up to SPTV, mm. but now there's so many. As long as you've got the numbers, yeah, you can go on that. I think they are the new, and that, the new platforms. And going back to like the amount of times I've come across songs on Instagram or yeah, singers, yeah, yeah. like them things mean things. Like when I'm just bait posts, like the kids are watching that man. Yeah, hundred so percent. That's how Dino started his career. So I'm from saying, I'm just bait. you know them ones. And he, M. Hunter Bear people have got, have come from there, yeah. Yeah. Before it was just telling you. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Who's it? Yeah, yeah. New brand yeah. flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually mad. Yeah, we come we come a long way still. That's um that's cold. Though, you know, what I love that. Like, are we the only country that has all that? Like, we've had Channel U, our own channel. I guess America had BET. Yeah. But we've had like Crime Daily and Link Up T. Like, right? you know what I mean? Like, we've actually got you our know, own. I think they've got. Sources. I think they've got. I think they've got them in America, but there's just so many of them. There's not like go to ones. Like there is. Right. They got like, World Star. Yeah. I guess they got World Star and all that. But they for and what else is the Shade Room American? Is that American yeah, yeah, that's room? American. Do you yeah. know what I mean, they've got ones yeah, like that. Yeah, true. But I think you're right in the sense of like we've got our own things. Like, yeah. You the know the ones. Yeah. What about the other countries like that like France and talk about? Do they yeah. Have their own like link up TV, uh, so that yeah, one. Yeah. They're coming up with bangers. There. Yeah, with like I might have to check. I, I think yeah. it's a more yeah. English thing. I think because even yeah. um, who's that guy? J JDZ Media. Yeah, Media. They're up, up north, north. Yeah, and he's just got that on smash. Yeah, they're getting millions on there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's mad. It's sick. Views, I love views, it. Man. Views matter in this kind of yeah. kind of world, man. Hundred percent. When I was looking at um, maybe like two years ago, mm. I was looking at link up subscribers on YouTube, link up in GRM, and mm. it was like. Probably like around that like 75k. How much is it now? Yeah, oh, oh, it's mad. Mad. It's a mil. It's easy yeah, a mil each. And that's each. in a couple of years. Yeah, they are, it, know. you know why that works? It's the consistency. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. there's always going to be artists who want the exposure, who want the thing. So there's always content. The was more influential than it's ever been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, people are like people on like Glastonbury, people on TV. Mm. You know, it's um, mad. And even films as well. Think about films like The Intent. Yeah, Chris yeah, Brown was yeah. watching the intent. Yeah, he was, was teaming. He done a mixtape with, uh, yeah. with Smoke Boys. Smoke Boys, Boys yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're loving, they're loving it, man. What we're doing, bro, sick, sick. bro. It can only get better, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. that's mad. So, what do you um, think of the drill, the drill thing at the moment? Then? The drill, the drill thing. Um, I can't even lie. It's it's, it's wavy, but it's yeah. uh, sometimes you know some artists force it. Yeah, there's yeah. some that force it, and I don't really. So there's that. too. You saying there's too much coming through right now that it needs to be. I, yeah, I think there's the authentic, like the pioneers, which yeah, is yeah. like your six, seven. Yeah. Dig that. Those the kind Russ, of people. Yeah, the yeah. Russ, yeah. But then there's people who 
who don't really do drill music, but they're doing it because they know it's popping. Right, right, right. Because right. I get a lot of that in my inbox. And yeah, I can't yeah. really be waiting. I know why you're doing this. You're doing this because you know <laughs> it's the wave right now. You know what I'm saying? Which I understand, like, because you want to, like we said, stay relevant to mm. a certain degree. But if you're an R&B guy and you're now doing drill, it's like, mad. yeah, you're confused. Right. Musically, you're confused. Yeah, I mean? could, yeah, it's mad. At the same time, it could be a natural influence because there's a lot of drill out at the moment. True. You know, they're from the and ends. they're probably listening to it as well. And yeah. I think I spoke to. Uh, phaser before and he said he doesn't listen to anyone else's music he just listens to his own and his own. it's not to not to influence his mind like exactly yeah, what you're yeah, saying yeah. which i get yeah. he's dope as well he's a oh, sick he's producer man crazy man yeah. crazy crazy guy man and how he he comes up with stuff yeah i think everyone in that from end dubs is very talented yeah yeah it's, yeah it's a shame Talisa even i mean it's very up and down everything's so yeah, up and yeah. down people but um yeah i mean but when you go down no way is up anyway do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, so yeah, yeah, even if you look at the level of success they've had as a group yeah, then as individuals yeah it's they're very much like so artists like yourself end up mm. tiny temper they're really set Solidified. the president for yeah. everything yeah yeah no, I mean, everyone like popped from that era kind of everyone stood out yeah so yeah, yeah as their own differently yeah now i reckon because there's a lot and it's bigger mm. there's a lot of similarities a lot of people are similar sound the same then, everyone was that's a good point with their own thing yeah you know, like you, for example, you know, yeah. you're doing, you got the samples, and you yeah. had the Elton John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the samples as well, that was my thing, man. Yeah. Strong, yeah. I think now coming back, though, the samples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. more, like, if you hear that new Mist and Fredo tune. Yeah. There's so a sample high, in that. So, so high, high. That one, yeah. that's the one. Hard. And um, who else? Even, like, uh, from the American side, like Khaled mm. does that a lot, innit? Like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. with the one with um, yeah, Miss yeah. Jackson. Scissor, yeah. yeah. The Wild yeah, Faults, yeah. everything, like, he's throwing them in there now. So I feel like that's going to start happening again which is good because then if artists want to do that they need to research where the yeah, music has come from yeah yeah because you know sometimes they're just like oh it's old music but then they realize the impact of it and they're thinking What's oh i can on? take that out and put this in mine it will sound wavy yeah that's facts yeah, it's man. crazy man but um yeah so boom this is snapbacks uh snapbacks and flat caps podcast Jeez. on instagram make sure you're checking it out on youtube as well subscribing to the page on Spotify, iTunes, and SoundCloud, and also I want to say, give a shout out as well to Straight Drop TV, today's sponsor for this episode, uh, the best urban entertainment platform, uh, bringing all the freshest new artists 24 7 and coverage of the UK. So make sure you follow them up on Instagram, which is Straight Drop TV as well. They sponsored today's episode, and today we've been joined by Tony TNT. Mm-hmm. What are you cooking at the moment, with Tony TNT, and what's your socials? Wait, I am Tony TNT9 on all socials. Snapchat, Instagram, all of that. And yeah, man, you're going to hear more of me soon. Yeah, that's it. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, got uh, DJ. Is it Ivan that you go by now, DJ? I don't know, bro. I'm just confused. I, I just with it, bro. Everyone says different things yeah. now. I'm just, I think it's just ironic, like, unless yeah. I'm out DJ and I'm saying, then it's DJ ironic. But yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. And you got uh, Prayers for Life, which is out yeah. of Mobile Coke. Yeah, Prayers for Life featuring K Coke's out now. Check it out. Um, I got a next single about to drop in a couple of weeks featuring AO Beats called Come Down. And uh, yeah, another banger. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got we got a history of bangers, so we've got a summer one coming, yeah man. And then what oh, else? So yeah, I got EP coming out soon as well. Um with about five, six new tracks and just working man, shows after shows everywhere in the UK. Um like I said, getting into A and R and DJ and I'm trying to do it all man. Yeah. yeah. Socials official DJ Ironic on the gram. Um, DJ Aronic on Twitter. Yeah, everything's there, man. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. so don't forget to subscribe as well to all the platforms. And you can, of course, listen back on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes as well. So thanks very much for joining us, guys. Come Obviously, on. Snapbacks and Flat Caps. Your host, Will. <laughs>